Batch smells nice and it tastes nice, but it doesn't look quite right. The color is off, and it doesn't feel right. The texture is off. I think I need to try a little less water. <laughs> Koba, you're cooking for the whole nervous system. To please all of the five senses. What's the nervous system? It's the system that sends signals from your brain to the different parts of your body. And from all around your body to your brain. So when I smell the pilau with my nose, mm -hmm. or see it with your eyes, or feel it with your skin, or taste it with your tongue, mm. hot, hot, hot. Hey, that's how we should be making my pilau too, as a team. I'm great with taste, Kibana. You're such an artist. You can help make it look great. I have been looking for something special, for a special someone. Since you're all going to cook, and you bite anyways. Don't worry, little bro. I'll pack this batch of my brilliant pilau right up for you. Thanks, big bro. I'm going to give it to Pando to show her how much I care about her. <laughs> Here you go, little bro. Thanks, Koba. Well, I would better get going. I don't want to leave my pendo waiting. Bye. Everybody part is important. Everybody part is important. <coughs> pendo! <coughs> there you are, my girl. I brought you some of Koba's brilliant pilau. Now you eat this while I go get changed. Then we can play. So, um, Koba, who's Pando? <laughs> Is she Baraka's? <laughs> Pando, she's Baraka's donkey. Donkey? <laughs> yeah, last weekend we went to visit our uncle on his farm, and Baraka loved the donkey so much that uncle gave him one to bring home and care for himself. Baraka's been taking his responsibility pretty seriously. Everything is Pendo this, Pendo that, but I don't think he really understands what donkeys need. He just gives her stuff that he likes. A donkey. <laughs> we thought... <laughs> Everybody part is important. Yuck, what's that? Just gotta find some grass or hay. Oh, I miss eating hay. Everybody part has its own functions. Everybody part is important. Everybody part. Hello. <laughs> oh, Pendo, my love. Pendo, my love. I know you're waiting for. Koba, Amani. Kibana, help! What is it, Baraka? Pendo, she's gone missing! No sign of her in the garden either. So, she really ran away? Or maybe she got lost. 
and she's alone and she's hungry. They didn't even eat her pilau. What are we going to do? Don't worry, Baraka. We're a team. That's right. Four brains are better than one. If we work together as a team, we can solve this. Hi there. Don't be afraid. I'm a friendly elephant, and I always help friends in need of help. You look like you might be in need of help. I'm lost and I'm so hungry. Oh, no worries. I always keep pumpkins stashed away, just in case. Would you like one? Pumpkins? No way. We donkeys eat hay and oats. Hmm, hay and oats. I don't have any of those, but I know someone who knows just about everything about food. He'll surely know where to find some. You know, Baraka gave me pilau. It smelled nice. But... Baraka? You know Baraka? Yeah, he's my human. But they gave me the pilau. I, I promise. I didn't know. Gedere, wake up! Huh? Oh, Tiny Timbo! I was having one of my pilau nightmares again. Hey there, donkey friend. I'm Gedere. I'm Pendo. Nice to meet you, Mr. Gedere. Pendo's hungry, and she's looking for hay and oats. Baraka gave her pilau, but she can't eat that. Hmm, pilau. My favorite. But maybe not for donkeys. Here's the deal. I'll take you to a place I know where there are a lot of donkeys. Surely they'll have your food. Then, when you're full, you can take me to eat the pilau. <laughs> deal. Whoa there, buddy! Tails aren't for biting! Hmm. Well, he's a nasty. You'd be in a bad mood too if you were locked in a cage like that. This place is horrible. I don't like it here. Maybe we should leave and... Oh no, we should help them! Ah! Look! Stray animals! Quick! Run! They are not worth much, but this little elephant will be worth its weight in gold. <laughs> Hide him in the secret barn. into the forest. What now? Mm, I'm not sure, but I do know that if we work together as a team, we'll figure it out. Don't worry, Baraka. We'll find her. Find who? Pendo. She's a donkey. She's lost. That might have something to do with me. 
What happened, Uncle T? Well, she came down to the forest sniffing around like she was looking for something. So I asked if she needed any help. I guess I started her because she went and just ran the other way. Oh no! She must be so scared. I can help you to look for her. Well, that's what we'll remember for a search team. Kibana, you look down low. Amani, you look to the right. I'll look to the left. And Uncle T, you look up high and out into the distance. I'm glad. My long neck can help the team. We each have to use our strength. And what do I do? You lead us and call out for Pendo. She knows your voice best. Don't forget to use all your senses. Let's go! I smell blood. Where is Pendo? Baraka! Pendo! Baraka! I don't think that's Pendo. Baraka, I have been looking for you everywhere, but my silly tail keeps bleeding. The bad guy scratched it when I was escaping that horrible farm. Bad guys? Escaping? What horrible farm? Well, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Pendo and Tiny Tembo got captured by the bad guys at that horrible farm. But I escaped to come find you. We have to rescue them. Come on. Oh, my tail. Gedere, you can't go on a rescue mission like this. Huh. I didn't know you could feel in your tail. Of course I feel my tail. Oh. It's got very sensitive nerves in it. Nerves? Like the nervous system? Animals have a nervous system too? Of course they do, Koba. Animals have a nervous system. You're right. I should have known that animals have a nervous system because you can move around and do all sorts of things. Your nervous system controls your body to do that and also allows you to feel. So animals feel too, don't you? I'm sorry your tail hurts, Gadara. And I'm sorry to interrupt this science lesson, but we've got a donkey and a baby elephant to save. You're right, Amani, but our team's going to have to split up. You go ahead with Uncle T. I'll bandage up Gadara's wound, and then we'll join you as a backup. I'll get us some more help and meet you there. But where is it? Gadara, can you draw us a map on where to go? Hold still, Ngedere. I'm not trying to do it. I promise. It's like my tail is acting without my brain. That must be a reflex. We learned about them at school. Sometimes your nerves and muscles act themselves before the message even travels through your nervous system to and from your brain. Huh? I need to learn more about the nervous system. Pendo's there! I know it! Wait, team. We need to plan this. Okay, the plan is we run in there and ask the animals where Titi and Pendo are, then we save them. No, 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 no. I don't like that plan. You will get caught. I should sneak in and find them, and then I will sneak out without anyone noticing us. Uncle T, you're a giant giraffe. You can't really sneak and notice. Mm. We're supposed to be a team, guys. We can't disagree. Well, actually, you both have good ideas. I think it's okay for us to disagree, since there's always more than one solution to a problem. Asking the animals is a good idea, and so is sneaking, and so is having someone keep watch. You are right. Uncle T, I really like your idea. We can combine our ideas. Uncle T, your neck is really long, and you can see really far. That's really important for the team. Fine, I'll keep watch. But I'm blowing my ref's weasel if anything fishy goes down. And you will have to signal to me if you need me to do something else. Okay, I'm small and I'm sneaky. So I'll sneak up and ask the other animals where Pendo and Titi are. 
And then we will quickly and quietly sneak them out. I'll come with you. You'll need help. And you never know when you'll need someone to sing a song just to get you out of a bad situation. All right, team. Let's do it. These poor animals, they must feel so hot and tired and sad. Have any of you seen a donkey named Pendo? She has her braid in her mane and a swill on her left side. Thank you. Pendo! Right there, donkey thieves! What are you doing? Oh, nothing, nothing. Just the monkey dance. I've got to get him today. Let go of our fence. Hmm, this is the private property, and you better get off at it once, or I'll call... The police? Don't worry, we already made a call. They should be arriving right about... What's going on here? These people! We're so thankful you came. These kids were trying to steal one of our donkeys. That's a lie! They kidnapped our donkey. We came to rescue her. All the stories children tell these days. Look around. This is a farm. Who do you believe? Professional farmers or a ragtag group of kids? Well, Baraka, does this donkey have any kind of tag or brand to show he's yours? No, but just look at the conditions here. They're treating the animals so poorly. Well, I'd have to agree. But that isn't illegal here. It may not be, but you know what is illegal? Capturing baby elephants. <laughs> These children and their stories. Let us show you around. You'll see that there are no baby elephants here. And then you'll also know that these children are lying about the donkey too. No baby elephants. But I know they took them. Our friend Gedere told us. Gedere? He's a monkey. So, a monkey told you that these people stole your donkey and a baby elephant? Kids, police work is serious business. We don't have time for pranks like this. This isn't a prank. They must have some secret place where they're hiding Tiny Temple. What is it? I don't see anything. Well, I see something. It's, um... Look! These animals, they help us In so many ways The milk the cow provides The eggs the chicken lays And the donkey who shoulders our burdens all day Let's ask ourselves what we can do to repay to repay, to repay We must care for their needs And show them our hearts Give them medicine when they fall ill And breaks from pulling their carts Just like us, they need food, water to thrive Space to move around at day Stay safe at night don't you forget that animals feel too Just like me and you Cold or hot, hungry or tired 
They have needs and desires. So when an animal depends on you, remember animals feel too. These animals, they help us in so many ways. The dog guards our house and also loves to play. And the birds sing songs to brighten up our day. Let's ask ourselves what we can do to repay, to repay, to repay. Some animals, we need to give them homes, while others need natural spaces to roam. When you're making decisions about the things that you do, remember that they affect the animals too. Don't you forget that animals feel too. Just like me and you Cold or hot, hungry or tired They have needs and desires So when an animal depends on you Remember animals feel too Don't you forget that animals feel too Just like me and you Cold or hot, hungry or tired They have needs and desires so when an animal depends on you, remember animals feel too. Yeah, 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 you feel too. Don't mind me. I'm just remembering my cat, Fluffles. She was such a cool cat. <laughs> He really saved us there, but we still haven't found the ones that we're here to save. Tiny Temple's in there. We'll need to work as a team to get in. How did you find us? Teamwork! Teamwork! Thanks! I can breathe again and I can... What's that ruckus? Tiny Tembo! I think you might need to check inside that barn again. And check more carefully this time. But how do we get in there? There's no door. Let us show you how. See, I, I told you a monkey had took told them. me. <laughs> it's illegal to keep wild animals like elephants and pangolins. We're going to take you in for questioning. I got your message, Baraka. What is it? Look at all these donkeys, Mzekigo. We need to find them a nice and safe place to live. And we were thinking, with all of your land... That I could give them a home? Caring well for animals is a lot of work. You have to make sure they've got the right food, plenty of water, shed when it's hot, care to keep them healthy and clean, and a safe space to live. Well, Mzekigo, if you can provide the safe space, we can help out with the rest. We can start a club, like our savings club. It'll be a donkey care club. We can learn about caring about donkeys and teach other people about donkey and animal welfare too. And we can invite our uncle to teach us about donkey care. Donkey Care Club! One, two, three! Donkey, donkey care, care Club! Club. 
That's it for today's Donkey Care lesson. Thank you, Uncle. Don't worry, girl. I know what to do now to take care of you. And I'm so happy that we've got a team together to take care of all of you. It's a big responsibility. We've got to make sure you have the five freedoms. Freedom from hunger and thirst. Freedom from discomfort. We'll make sure you have a nice environment with shelter and a nice comfy place to rest. Freedom from pain, injury, or disease. I'll make sure your space is safe and make sure you get treatment when you need it. Freedom to express yourself and act like a donkey together with your donkey friends. And freedom from fear and distress. We'll pay attention to make sure you aren't afraid or suffering. Good work, Donkey Care Club! Mathematics, mental acrobatics every day, all the time. Just use your mind. You use math when you measure. Width and length, solving problems using mental strength. Use number operations like multiplication. The number you'll find is like magic from your mind. Math is a part of everyday life. Just add, subtract, divide, and multiply. Can you solve the problem? Did you get the answer? Just use your brain and you can do it, sir. Now, don't you rush it. Just take it slow. You must be careful. Don't you know? You use math for all things in life. When you eat your gali, you count your bites. In a parade, count the steps you take. Just listen when I rap. I'm using math. Calculate the distance when you drive your car so you will know if you have gone far. Here's something else for you to count. Can you count the teeth in my mouth? We can measure width, length and depth and represent with X, Y and Z. Math is used for everything. Just do the numbers in your head. Now try to add up all the spots on my neck. How many do you see? And I even use math to get leaves off the tree. Mathematics, Never miss out on new Ubaldo Kids videos ever again. Subscribe today and become the first to know every time new fun educational content is available. Simply type Ubaldo Kids English on the search bar. Click on the Ubaldo Kids English channel page. Click subscribe on the right hand corner of your screen. What are you waiting for? You are three easy steps away from joining the Ubaldo Kids family.